come together on this holy day of Yom Kippur to offer prayers of healing, healing for ourselves, healing for those we love, healing for our nation, healing for our world. This afternoon, we'll have opportunity to reflect on each of these themes accompanied by the music of healing from our tradition. We begin this afternoon with the words of Misha Berach, familiar to us because of Debbie Friedman's iconic melody that ask for God to grant us refuash lema, a complete healing for whatever that might be for each one of us. On Yom Kippur afternoon, we focus our thoughts and prayers on healing for all those who are ill in spirit, for those whose hearts are burdened and minds disquieted, for those whose sins have taken their toll, we dedicate this moment to healing. We ask God to heal us, to help us find wholeness and holiness at this season of renewal. Teshuva is repentance. Repentance removes the actions that bring to ourselves and to others and to God. And healing comes from the search for repentance. Healing comes from the act of repentance. We pray, O oh God, your help in this holy task. In the days of old Shuva, repentance was made with sacrifice. The high priest prepared himself seven days before Yom Kippur. He could, so how could he intercede for others if he was impure himself? All night he rehearsed the sacred ritual. Robed in gold, he burned incense, offered the sacrifices, dispatched a goat into the wilderness. The goat was a symbol of the people's longing to be rid of sin. He would enter the Holy of Holies in the ancient temple in Jerusalem. Once a year, he would bow and proclaim God's holy, ineffable name, yud Hey vav Hey. The people would stand um, at the temple in the courtyard, and when they heard God's sacred and glorious name in prayer, they responded, Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Va'ed. Praise be God's holy name, whose majesty extends beyond all time and space. Today we have no high priest to offer our sacrifices. We have no goat to send into the wilderness with our sins. We are left by ourselves and with each other to ask for forgiveness and to begin the process of atonement and healing. Today we confess our own sins and ask forgiveness for ourselves and our loved ones. We join together as a community of Jews to pray for the Jewish people as a whole. 
We pray for healing from all our wounds, those caused by ourselves and those caused by others. We pray for healing from wounds caused by disease. May our words of repentance and may our prayers of healing rise up to God and may they be acceptable in God's sight. God, help us now. The events of our lives are of our own making. But if we remain burdened by our guilt and bound to our mistakes, how can we seek blessing? You are powerful to forgive and your hand can guide ours in reaching out for love and peace, strength and blessing. Your compassion, O God of all life, extends to all who live. You turn from our transgressions that we may turn to you. For you love all beings, despising nothing that you have made. For how could you hate what you have established and what would endure without your love? All things are touched by your grace, for they are yours. Eternal one, you take delight in life, for your eternal spirit dwells in all that breathes. Keep us, O God, from bad intentions and from excessive pride. Help us at all times to govern our passions and master our inclinations. Against melancholy and bitterness, defend our souls. Guard our tongues against slander and deceit and open our eyes to the virtues of others. God, please help us pray. Our hearts are uncertain, God, but it is said that your love is without limit and your kindness has no end. Love us, God. Help us. Heal us. Dear God of our ancestors, dear God of our ancestors, help us renew our faith, help us renew our faith. Grant us a perfect healing, grant us a perfect healing. Bring peace to all our days, bring peace to all our days.
We pray now for those who offer care to those who are in need of healing, for all of those caregivers. Show us how to offer hope. Open their hands with the color of faith that they may begin to fill in spaces to strengthen another's life. Show them how to offer comfort. Point out your nesting place, O God, feathered against the adversities that wound those we love. Show our caregivers the directions when they are lost, searching for help but finding no paths. Show them tolerance when they are weary of helping and a long dreary day stretches towards a restless night. God, you place before us life and love, show us endurance. You place before us healing and hope, show us persistence. Reach deep within those caregivers eternal strength and bring them strength, their strength to consciousness. Pull it around them. Let it radiate with your power. Let it guide the way. Amen. We turn our thoughts now to our world who is crippled, crippled with this global pandemic as we offer words of blessing for those suffering in mind, body, and soul. This is a Misha Berach for those who climb daily into their cars, buses, subways, and trains, for those who lost their jobs, homes, and food, for those anxiously waiting for what the future will bring. This is a Misha Berach for those who lost loved ones, colleagues, and friends in loneliness and helplessness without us noticing. This is for the addicts, the ones in need of medication, the ones in need of group support and therapy who struggle with the absence of healthy habits. This is for the children, the elderly, and the ones with intellectual disabilities who do not understand why their lives suddenly and so drastically changed. This is for the ones who faced hells of violence and abuse in their homes without us being able to hear their screams. This is for the ones our free meals did not reach, the ones whose big dreams had to shrink, the ones whose futures were forever altered. This is for the ones who needed to stay home, coughing and gasping for air, the ones so often lonely in their hospital beds while others could rest. This is Amisha Berach. May the God who is our source of blessing remember the crying voices of God's children, suffering, anxious, and numb in their pain. God, hear our pain. God, heal our pain. El na rifana lanu. We take time this afternoon to offer the words of Birkat Hagomel the traditional blessing offered by individual or individuals who've gone through a harrowing experience this year. There's the response for the, the individual offers words, which Cantor Ghosting will help with the repeat after me. And then the congregation responds to them, offering words of gladness and thanksgiving. Today we celebrate survival. We give thanks for the resilience of our bodies, for the strength of our human spirits, for the precious gift of life, experience with new intensity when life was at risk. If you've gone through one of these experiences, I invite you to repeat after me. Baruch Ata Adonai. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Hagomel Lechayavim Tovot. Hagomel Lechayavim Tovot. Shigmalani Kol Tov. Shigmalani Kol Tov. Blessed are you, our God eternal. Your majesty fills the universe through your generosity. I have experienced your goodness. And we, the congregation, respond to this blessing. Amen. Mish malchem kol tov, hu yig malchem kol tov sela. Amen. May the source of gladness and goodness bring you goodness at all times. Our concluding song today of this healing service is Heal Us Now by Cantor Leon Cher. And in this song, there are the words, Elna Rifana La, which 
are the words that Moses spoke to God in asking that God might bring healing to his sister Miriam, who was afflicted at that time. And uh, this setting expands that message to, to all of us and for healing for us and for the whole world. Oh, 